Hi friends, I am so glad to see you today. Thank you for joining uh, me, and I have a very special Bible story. Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa, yes. we got a letter in the mail. We got a letter in the mail? Yes, it says to Miss Lisa mm -hmm. and Mr. Duane. That's wow, us. Wow, that is us. Now, it says, for, I know this mm -hmm. word, it mm -hmm. says Jesus, mm -hmm. and then it's got two more words here. I don't really know mm -hmm. what they mean. Okay. It says Jesus, then the letters T-E, which would be Tay, I think. Mm -hmm. And then the second word, or third word in a sentence, mm -hmm. really, is A-M-A, -A, Ama. So it says, Jesus Te Ama. Well, Mr. Duane, I really don't know what that means either, because it looks like it's written in a different language. Oh, my goodness, look down here. It says, which means Jesus loves you. Oh, so Jesus uh -huh. Te Ama, uh -huh. in whatever language that is. Yes means Jesus loves you yes, in English. Yes, Can we say it together, sister? Yes. Jesus, Jesus te ama means Jesus loves you. I wonder what language that's written in. I know. It says it's from Mr. <gasps> Caleb. Does that mean anything to you, a Mr. Caleb? I bet it does. Mr. Caleb was born in Mexico. Mexico. I bet this is mm -hmm. Spanish. Yes, so it must Jesus be. So Jesus te ama mm -hmm would be Jesus loves you in Spanish. Yes, it must be. Well, Mr. Caleb, he was born in Mexico. Then he moved to the United States. and to, Then he moved to Murfreesboro. And he married Jenny, Miss Jenny. And they can both speak Spanish and English. Well, I can only speak English. I don't know other languages. Does, does being able to speak another language do, have anything to do with your Bible story for today? Well, it does, Mr. Duane. In matter of fact, it does. Um, the Bible is God's word and everything in the Bible is truth. And the Bible is to divide it into two parts. Do you know what those parts are? The Old Testament and the New Testament. That's right. The Old Testament starts with the beginning of the Bible and kind of goes to the middle. And then from the middle of the Bible to the end is the New Testament. Let's say New Testament together. New, New Testament. Testament. So you have Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then Acts. Acts. And Acts is the uh, is the chapter we're going to be looking at today. So Acts chapter 2, we're going to be uh, talking about it and reading out of our Bible. You mind if I look over your shoulder? No, let's, let's look at this together. Peter and the other disciples, or his other helpers uh, of Jesus, were gathered together in a house, and they heard a sound like a wind. <laughs> like yeah, that? I'm sure it was something like that. And people started gathering outside of the house after hearing the sound. And the disciples began to speak many different languages. Just like Caleb can speak Spanish and English, well, the disciples began to speak languages that they don't usually speak. And so all the people that were there could hear them speaking in those languages, couldn't they? Yes, and all the people that gathered spoke in all sorts of different languages, not just one, but many different languages, so they could understand what was being said. So so it says when that happened, mm -hmm. every, it got everybody's attention. Yes, and then Peter, he began to preach. And here's what it says Peter said, because Peter was the leader at this mm -hmm. point of mm -hmm. the disciples. He says... Um, Yet any one of us can tell you that God has raised Jesus to life. This was all part of God's plan. You know that Jesus was sent to you by God, for he worked many miracles and showed you many things. But God had planned that Jesus would be handed over to you so that you uh, would reject him and have him killed at, by evil men. Mm -hmm. Yet death did not hold him. God made this Jesus, whom you crucified, Lord and Messiah, and raised him from the dead. That's right. The people looked and wondered and worried about what he had to say. What do they do with this? And it says right here that Peter then told them that you must repent. You must trust Jesus, and then you can also have salvation. Oh, wow. If you believe in Jesus, then you can have salvation. And the reason you do that is because Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. Just like our, sign, our note right here. Mm -hmm. Jesus te ama. Jesus loves you. And there's a picture. There's our picture of the uh, of the story. And here's Peter up here preaching and some of his disciples. And all of these people sitting here listening to what Peter was saying that day. Mm 
What does the word repent mean, Mr. Dwayne? Repent means like if you're going in one direction and you have to turn and go the other way. So like, let's say you, you're you trusting in trying to do as much good stuff as you can. And, uh, and, and as opposed to just trusting Jesus to take care of you. Mm -hmm. Instead of trusting in yourself, we need to stop turn from that and go the other way and start trusting in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we must ask Jesus to forgive us of the ways that we've been disobedient to him. Yeah. And um, I'm just so excited that we've been able to talk about this today. And um, now, I didn't say this, but uh, I, I was looking down at the, mm -hmm. the, the other part of that story. And it says that day there were 3,000 people. <gasps> 3,000, 3, that's a people. lot of people. They, they heard what Peter had to say, and they believed in Jesus, and they became a part of the church. Isn't that good news? Yes. <gasps> Mr. Dwayne? And it all became because they found out that Jesus loves you. That's right. Well, Mr. Dwayne, with those 3,000 people that came and asked, uh, and, and asked Jesus to come into their heart, and asked uh, God to forgive them of them being disobedient. With all of those people, you said, was that the first church? It was the start of the first oh, church. Wow, that was the start of the first church. And then since then, there's all these other churches that have started, and even our church in Murfreesboro. Well, that's real exciting news. I'm glad to know that we've been able to talk about um, how the first church started and how important it is that when we do something that dis, that we disobey God with, that we must ask him to forgive us. Friends, thank you so much for joining us. Love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.